Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to um, get the best quality settings with the Dazzle. And this is mainly, all these settings are for Dazzle, including Pinnacle S or Sony Vegas. First, you want to know that S Video is like 10 times better than Composite. So, if you can, buy a S Video cord and it all plugs up the same way. And also, the sharpness, you want that all the way down and press settings you want to use aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and NTSC and make sure no auto scene detection is selected um... use MPEG with custom 8000 here it's a lot better especially using S-Video S-Video is the best and project preferences, you want this to either be at progressive widescreen in TSC or HD 1280 by 720 if you have that. But they will both work just about exactly the same. Um, what else? This is selected, I guess. Don't know what that does. I don't know what this does, but I have this on. Um, yeah, that's about it for the settings. And you can see it looks a lot better than it did just now. Um. Oh yeah, alright. If you have Sony Vegas, I'll show you my settings that I use. I got a clip down here. And you can see how it has black edges like at the top and that green line at the bottom. Um, if you press crop, pan, crop, you could actually like move the edges and kinda get rid of that I usually have these selected I have a preset saved perfectly for it and you can see that the green lines are gone and then you right click on the clip and press switches and unchecked aspect ratio <coughs> and go to project video properties with 1280 by 720 um, if you're using Dazzle, which is what this is mainly for, don't put it at exactly NTSC, because that's, watch, if you press apply, I'll actually show you why I don't use, okay, yeah, you can see right there, there's a bunch of lines, and, oh yeah, if you use the exact frame rate, it actually gives you those lines. But if you change the change that to twenty nine point nine five, it gets rid of those lines and the quality stays pretty good. It just kind of fades the lines. <coughs> and also, you want a one point oh pixel ratio. Eight bit best Gaussian none. Start all projects with this setting, and you could save a template and now I'll show you my render settings I use WMV I already have a preset you could choose default template and copy these settings um... copy the attributes and for this you want 1280 by 720 with a 1.0 aspect ratio and same with the frame rate, 29.95 instead of 97. Looks a lot better when you render it. Um, 3, 5, 100. Um, oh yeah, make sure you have internet slash LAN at 8M. And project, set it to best. Whoa. Well yeah, that's the best render settings you can get for the dazzle okay um one last thing you want to go to settings display settings um video output settings use composite s video and choose 16 by 9 that'll give you the widescreen look when you while you're recording it'll change on your tv it might look kinda weird if you're not using a widescreen tv but um in the recording looks great and it works on Xbox 2 it's called widescreen 
they didn't name it 16 by 9 but yeah that's pretty much it